Candidates on the left, candidate on the right. Now a former Honolulu mayor hopes to snatch up votes right down the middle. Mofi Hanneman has just announced he's getting to the race as the governor for as an independent. KITV force Nana Okawa spoke with him today. Mufi Hanneman's been in politics and government since the 70s. He says he's a lifelong Democrat, but he's hopping out of the party this year to run for governor as an independent. And I feel that the party has strayed from working class values, uh, from representing uh, uh, people who are trying to better themselves economically. And if Hanneman wants to better himself politically, running as a Democrat would make things difficult. He's already lost in Democratic primaries to Neil Abercrombie in 2010 and Tulsi Gabbard in 2012. Running as an independent gives him an easier path to the general election. So I do better in general elections, and that's what uh, I think is very important. Yes, I lost for Democratic primaries. Uh, and there's a reason. But in the general election, uh, we really like our chances. He hasn't won statewide elections. The only, the only larger election he ran, of course, the, he won. The big one was a mayor and, as a nonpartisan. Political analyst Neil Milner says Hanneman's not a shoe in as an independent. Where does Mufi Hanneman have a base to get, let's say, the 35 to 40 percent votes that he would, of the vote that he would need? It. It's not clear where that's going to come from. And he can think about drawing from some of the Democrats and some of the Republicans and people that stay loyal to Mufi. But Mufi is not in a situation now that he has been in the past. The general election could shape up as a three way battle between Hanneman, Republican Duke Iona, and the winner of the Democratic primary between Neil Abercrombie and David Ige. Hanneman says he's ready for the election challenge and believes he's the fresh new approach. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News. It's going to be quite a race and a reminder of the primary election coming up on August 9th.